Hello, viewers. I said I wouldn't read the comments on yesterday's video, but I thought, actually, no, no, do read them, Ben. Read them as the intro to the next video. I've not actually looked at them yet. I'm going to read them now. I, if you've not seen yesterday's episode, watch that first. The top comment from Tio. The first line is, no shame in losing when you went for it. Defensively, it is normal to make mistakes in this league. That's good. He's then he's then slated Tiki Taka at 4-4-2, which is completely reasonable. The XG of 0.06 in that game, second game was truly mystifying. Agree. That was painful to watch on those highlightless games. Yes. So far, these aren't too bad. Gary's put, I haven't found the lower leagues were any more difficult than this year, Ben. You're just making it difficult. Sorry to sound harsh. I've watched every episode so far. You've been trying to play it up from the back all season like you're Manchester City. Or dare I say... The other Thames. I'm going to stop reading there, Gary. Thanks for your feedback. 442 Route 1. Play that. Too many tactical changes, says Peter. He's not happy. Maybe it's time you actually started using realistic tactics, said Oh My Bobros. Deserve to be sacked because your tactic didn't even make sense. <laughs> I know what's coming today. Oh, I'm on the intro. <laughs> oh, no. Shouldn't have read the comments. Should not have read the comments. folks and welcome back to AFC Thames with me Dr Benji FM good to see you I hope you find you very very well it's good to be back I can't wait we'll get to my formation in a minute uh, we're going to kick things off actually with a little bit of a quiz reveal viewers uh, I asked on Twitter what they thought this screenshot here uh, what the score of the match was I didn't reveal it on Twitter I'm going to reveal it at the start of the video for your, for your ears and eyes um, this was the score of that game it was an early season 8-6 defeat <laughs> That formation, I'm not even playing that formation anymore. We've moved on from that, viewers. It's similar to that, though. So, yeah, Palmer fans of 2015, enjoy that. It's a, it's a comeback. There's a reason as to why the score is 8-6. We'll talk about that in a minute. 8-6 defeat to Reddit. Thanks, Reddit. If you're watching on Reddit, uh, r slash football manager games. Good to see you all. Well, thanks for the defeat. Appreciate it. Also, well done for changing your banner. I mentioned that a few videos ago. You, you did that. Good work. And we've started the season then with that type of form. Of course, we've brought in some players. I'll introduce you to those in a moment. But let's quickly just run through the score lines. A 4-1 win to kick off the season. We're on cloud nine, viewers. Doing the 8-6 demolition. A 0-0 draw against Thatcham. A 1-0, 2-1. And 2-1 defeat to Burgess Hill, who, if you look at the league table, are top of the league right now. Six wins from six. They're going to be the team that we're battling. Uh, Lebrun and Benka, though. You can see a bit of Becker. And Becker, I think you'd say it. Um, a 7.62 so far. Seven goals. He's the first man we must introduce you to. Six games, seven goals. This is the main man then. Uh, we've brought him in, of course, on a free transfer, although we paid £10,000 in signing on fee to acquire his services. Um, you can tell immediately that considering most of the players in this division, he's a cut above. We're playing him... Not as a striker, but he's scoring a lot of goals. Um, of course, we had, we had Howie and Craig score loads of goals this, last year. So what I've done is drop one of them. So, yeah, that's that's the plan. Partially so I can bring one off the bench and maybe change a game now and again, rather than having no option off the bench. But Lebrun and Becker uh, played last year in my division. Four goals, three assists already. Blitz that so so quickly. Uh, three player of the match awards in six games. You'll see how good he is. Um, he's six foot three of pure power. He's... Brilliant. I love him really, really well. I love him already. So uh, hopefully you'll follow in love with him as well. Lebrun and Becker. Real person as well. He may be on Twitter. Who knows? All right. Some of the other transfers that have been brought in then. Uh, Burgess Hill uh, let go. Calder. And I thought, let's get one of their players in. Renard Calder uh, can play centrally. I'm currently playing him in the system I play right now as an advanced playmaker out on the right hand side. Uh, decent work rate. Good technique. Good first touch. Good flair. Uh, crossing is really good as well. It can't accelerate, but everything else is like, those those physicals aren't too bad in this division. Um, so I, th I think, as you'll see, he's got some decent ability. Uh, we'll hopefully get the best out of him. Three assists in six games so far. It's an okay start. Uh, Jamie Harris has been brought in as a youth prospect goalkeeper. So's Aaron Selvey. Michael Emery's in trouble here. Sam Ashton has been brought in in case Michael Emery continues to let me down ever so slightly. Uh, Sam's not a, not a bad goalkeeper. Similarly, 5 foot 11. I keep buying keepers under 6 foot tall, it seems. Um, yeah, current ability 2 star, potential ability 2 star. Has been around a lot. Played at FC United of Manchester. Started his career at Bolton. He's now joined us. He was at Bolton during when, when Bolton were good in the Premier League, which is very weird for me. He now joins Thames in 2022. Um, yeah, I'm sure we'll see him feature at some stage. Not, not a bad goalkeeper at all. Uh, the other name 
names on this list. Then we've mentioned Mbeka, uh, Adam, Bailey, Dennis has joined us as well. The centre-back who can't run, but everything else is really good. Apart other than concentration, which we'll ignore for now. This is lower league football. Six foot six, though, of pace and acceleration. Really good aerially and good strength. Um, when you see where we're playing him, this is going to mystify you viewers. I... I almost don't want to bring you the formation. Let's let's reveal who we've let go, because that list is quite long. So in terms of released players, uh, you can see a lot of them next to me there. Oh, boys, 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 boys. It's a long list. Uh, Ryan Jarvis retired, which is not ideal. Has become a coach or was already a coach here at Thames. Uh, oberden has gone as well. I say gone. He was taken from me, and I could not hold on, on, on to him. So he's gone for no weekly wage. Um, a really good central midfielder that we're going to miss. Daddy's gone as well. Disappointing. Belho, Pearson. Clark, all these guys have left on free transfers. They either wouldn't sign a new deal or just release themselves from their own contracts or I release them. There's there's a mixture amongst all of this. Harry Lee's in there, of course. Manny's left us. Oh, no, we never really did find out if he was five foot three or not. Um, Jesse Wallalassen is another one to leave as well. Uh, again, quite a few names I'm sure you're recognising there. The, the big miss really for us is probably Callum Pearson. He was like, not a bad fullback. Uh, so what I've done is not play fullbacks anymore. Right, here we go. You saw a little bit in the 8-6 to what we were playing. Uh, this is what we're playing now. Yes, we've changed it slightly. Although for this game that you're going to see today, it's a bit weird because, of course, viewers, it's it's that time of the day. Uh, Andre Blackman has got himself suspended and can't feature, uh, but he is playing in that wing-back position currently. Uh, yeah, once again, got himself suspended. He's been, he's, suspended, he's been suspended for more games than I think he's played this year, or at least over the last sort of 10 matches. I think in the last two episodes, he's been suspended for every match. So... Andre Blackman won't play today. Uh, a call-up, though, for Danny Hogg, who is a player that came through our youth system in that first season. Um, it's got really good work rate and decent acceleration, stamina. Uh, some of these technicals are to be desired, but we're going to risk him a little bit today in this wing-back spot, um, playing him on an attack duty that he's not overly familiar with. And you can see what we're doing for us. We're playing a three at the back um, in... Oh, there's so much more to this than meets the eye. And also, I just realised we're playing an away game today, having played some games at the start of the season. I like to play through August, generally, and when you're in the lower leagues, um, you, you just play loads more matches than you normally would. Of course, you normally start sort of the 13th, so I like to play three, but you play six at, at lower league level. Uh, we're playing Dunstan today. The home games... I'll show you why I'll show you why the 8-6 happened. I'll show, there's, there's a reason for it, viewers. All right, if you just watch the goals... Um, we won't watch all the goals. Uh, in fact, we probably won't watch any of the goals. The goals, they're not really the important bit as to why this has happened. Okay, so you can see there, everything looks everything looks normal. Everything looks normal. Everything looks... That. So what I've done is I've changed the game, viewers. I've gone for a three-at-the-back system on a square pitch. Now, you might think this is idiotic. No, no, no. The problem was I had my slowest defender playing centrally. What I've done... It's moving up to the wing and results, viewers. We've won two games since that moment, haven't we? So we're back. One of them was at home. One of them was away. We also lost a game. But Burgess Hill are good, so we don't worry about that. So I'm playing a 3-3-1. Three, three, that was 2. 1, 2, 1 system. It's a 3-3-1-2-1. It's a three, three, one, one. That's what it is, viewers. And you can see it there. Uh, so Michael Henry does continue in goal for now, uh, in terms of the technical attributes he's got as, as a goalkeeper, he's probably still the best we've got. Uh, Williams to play at centre back on the right hand side. Uh, Twelve acceleration, good off the mark, you know, good, the decent, decent attributes. Uh, Holmes is to play the cover role, slightly quicker, not quite not as tall, but he's he's playing cover. Stick with me, viewers. And then Bailey Bailey Dennis is very good at heading. So um, we've got Lowe's and Bourne. In, the, in fact, this man here has been brought in and we didn't even mention... Hang on, hang on. Why is he not on our transfers in, viewers? Why, is, why not? Oh, he was at the top of the list and I ignored him. That'll be why. Uh, Callum Bourne's been brought in. Central midfielder. Uh, really well-rounded. These eights and nines are actually making him a better player than he probably is. He's not a, high, like a highlight standout player, but again, those eights and nines do make him very complete. So he's been brought in to play there. There. Uh, Lowe's and Hogg then will be either side. Lowe's is a, a pretty like, decent midfielder. Left-sided, of course, as well. Playing him a little bit deeper. Uh, cousin Brad Carr is coming in from the right-hand side. He's playing centrally now. Uh, he could still play out there if needs be. But yeah, that, that sort of advanced playmaker role to support and Becker and Hoey up front with Calder playing on that right-hand side, as we talked about before. It's... I've read the comments of, of yesterday's video, and this is not going to this is not going to improve matters. And the way we're playing it is sort of <laughs> in a gegenpress, but not quite a gegenpress 
sort of style, which I think you'll approve of. Uh, the lines are pretty standard. We're not changing too much there. Put them too high. We'll never be able to run backwards. Um, the way it operates at home is quite good. Away, mystery viewers. So as we go into today's game, I don't know if it's going to work or not. Um, the problem we've got at the moment, of course, Danny Hogg can't really feature in that role well. And Billy Lowe's not a natural in that position. Why have you brought other players in, Ben, to make this team work more? The, ah, well, I didn't realise what was going on. I'm £642 over my weekly wage budget, which is not good. Um, I can't bring anybody else in unless they want £30 a week. Let's go into the game then. Dunstan, coming up. Dear God. Now, the weird thing is, viewers, I think this is quite good. You don't, you aren't agreeing, are you? You're shaking your head at me. If I could see live facial reactions of people, in fact, feel free to tweet me a picture of you sort of looking at this formation with a fact and sum up your emotions for me. Feel free at Dr. Benji on Twitter, link in the description. Tweet me pictures of you looking at this and I'll, you know, I'll react to some of those tomorrow, just like I did the comments today. Let's submit the team, eh? I don't, want to, I don't want to see any negativity in the comments until you've seen it in action. We're going to play one game today. We're going to play Dunstan. We're going to win. You're going to go, wow, this is... I can't believe this works. And I'm going to go, told you, formation man, this is me. Sean has called Hog a generational talent. Watch him prove it. Liking our take on this tactic, says Ben. He's loving it. Stick with this all the way, says Tyreek. I mean, I'm telling you now, viewers... The fans, at least on the social roundup, they're on board. I'm a little bit concerned the press officer has bought me the nice ones. <laughs> and there was only four. <laughs> All right, then. Here we go. Into the game. Uh, it's a regular, a regulation size pitch. I always like to look at that first now. That's a concern. Uh, we're better on square pitches. But here we go. I've tried to build a tactic around the square pitch. Long throws. Think about the long throws. Think about the balls over the top for Michael Emery. Distribution. You've got to think about all the factors, viewers. As they will become evident this season. A season where I would like to get promotion. Um, let's hope we get promotion, eh? Hog, long throw. That's one of the worst throws I've seen. Bailey Dennis, heading ability. See, what we're, see? you're already seeing what, why this formation and this tactic is what it is. Now, Mbeka in the centre is, or Mbeka, is fantastic. He's he's the star. Six foot three. That's the ball to Hoey. It's 1-0, viewers. Cousin Brad Carr, ball through the middle. Hoey's there. We're winning. I told you. You've just got to stick with me and believe. <laughs> I didn't know how today would go, obviously. So, this is a relief. Uh, Cousin Brad Carr in the centre, playing that central role. The three, three down the middle. The shadow striker behind Hoey, but Hoey Poacher this season. Sixth goal of the season for him. Not even a top goal scorer. You see, we've, we've worked through this now. We've figured it all out. And the way the league campaign is right now, we're up to fifth. Look at us there, fifth. I mean, Burgess Hill are unstoppable. They beat us, and I don't even feel that bad about it. Look at this. As you get towards half time, 1 0 leaders. Dunstan, they're creating nothing against my three at the back system, which is undefeated so far, apart from those two games we lost. And I don't want you to think, and I'll say this, I'm going to say this sincerely, don't think I'm not trying to win, right? I've, I've not been able to find right wingers and left wingers to play a really good 4 4 2. And as a result of that, I've had to adapt. I've had to change things around a little bit. So we, we, this is what I've come up with. And. You don't watch this channel to watch you play 4-2-3-1 or to play in the 4-3-3s that are a bit basic or 4-4-2s. Four, four, this is, this is, a, this is, this is, this is, it's 1-0 and the top, look at the highlights. There's, we don't need highlights. Long throws. This is what we're about. Hog, forward. Hurry, flicks it on. We're there. Oh, we should have scored. Flipping heck. And the good thing, the thing about now is, right, if we're not really feeling the game right now, we can bring on Geo Craig on the bench, although he's getting constant offers from other teams, which is a little bit scary. Bailey Dennis is ball forwards. Not his best, but there's a, there's Mbeka. This is what he's good at. He's in on goal. He'll score. I guarantee it. I told you. I told Lebrun Mbeka. Mbeka. It must be Mbeka. Scores. We'll have to, well, maybe we'll have to contact him and find out how you say his name properly. Eighth goal of the season for him. Bailey Dennis plays the ball forward. He's just got this guy here. He's just got everything. There's an ambulance there. That is that just for me or is that for any... Um, Mbeka goes for through. I think it's Mbeka. But regardless, it's a goal. 2-0. 13 minutes to go. You watch it. You're stunned, aren't you? That's what you're doing right now. You're, not, you're watching this going, what on, what on, how is it, what? But I've worked on this. You know, a bit of, of pre-season. We had a version earlier in the season that was a little bit too attacking. I've made it a little bit more defensive. And look at us now. We're look, at, look at the moves. Hoey, there's three viewers. They, we're going up. But via the playoffs, 
We're going up. And if Burgess Hill starts to fall off, we'll be there, viewers. Rocketing our way through this season. Our Dunstan goods. They're 17th. Don't, don't worry about how good they are. Focus about how good we are. Hoey there. Keeps the ball alive. Let's make a change. On comes Andy Tanoi for cousin Brad Carr, who's had a fantastic game. Let's give him a break for nine minutes. Come on. Dunstan a forward. Ball in. It's, it's just it's not good enough. It's not good enough. You can't beat this. You should see it on a square pitch, viewers. It's a sight to behold. Next, next, next episode, I will make sure that we have some home games for you. Oh, no, don't run at him. Don't run at him. We don't like that. We don't like that. Don't run at him. Don't run at him. Blocking. Ball in. Wood. 3-1. Uh, th I'm Look at me. I'm calm. Wood here. Decent strike on goal. Emery beaten. They're going to have chances occasionally, aren't they? Let's just go. Let's go caution. But the time, viewers, is ticking away. We are in... <laughs> Hang on a second. Uh, they've... <laughs> Don't you? Um, Max Allen scored. Let's go. Let's go defend. Let, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Just two seconds, viewers. Um, I need to find a way to make this more defensive. Uh, shouldn't have brought my. Shouldn't have brought. Shouldn't have brought. I need to turn on. Uh, Sam Hanna. Maybe another four. We've not really got any. We've not got right backs. That's why we've been forced into this. But I've not told them that yet. Uh, let's make a sub up top. Just to. Let's do that. Geo Craig's come on, viewers. Um. <laughs> Defensive, as the time is ticking away. A convincing 3-2 victory, and we're back. It's a new season, and um, the XG there, dominant. Passes completed, very good. Possession, very good. Hoey and Beaker, phenomenal. Look at that XG, we're dominating them. Um, A little bit edgy towards the end, all right, I admit that. But look at that. The, the, the team talk's gone well. Emery was right with what they wanted to hear. Um, I've realised as well, by the way, Michael Emery gives me advice on these team talks. If he's not happy with them, he's suggested it. So, he should be happy every time. Let's take a look at the social feed. Uh, Georgia, oh man, what a great result. I'll be buzzing about that, uh, about this all week. Uh, Damani, they said, unbelievable result. That lets really build on some momentum now. You see, they're on board. Are you on board, viewers? That's what I'm worried about currently. They think we should have won by more. That's the general consensus. But there we go. That's what you want to see. Up to fifth. And with the new acquisitions, look, and Bika is... He's going to be key. He's going to be everything. I had to find a way to get him into the side. I could have played him as the striker up front, but I just think there's something about his, his six foot three frame. The, the things he can do at this level, they're not what other players, I think, personally can do. I can't believe he was getting so low like goals and assists. Was he, did he have injury issues? Like, no, see, I didn't sign him. Think, I, I looked at him thinking... There weren't injury issues. I remember doing this in the summer. Like, he could be great. He could score 30 goals this season. And I am a big, big fan. If we lose him, let's not think about that. Uh, we love with care, then, viewers. Let's bring this to an end. If you've enjoyed it, please drop a like on it. Let me know your thoughts on the tactic. Tweet me, of course. And, um, yeah, I'll see you again soon. We love with care. Feels mentioned until next time. This is a new season. Supporters Club, I'll talk you through these transfers even more. Uh, and there was a review of last season as well on the World Patreon, so go check that out. Uh, and thank you to the new guys that have joined as well. I'm talking about John, James, David, Charles, Lee, Tom, James, Jack, and James again. Welcome, everybody. Lots of Jameses today. Uh, Cooper and Jake as well, thank you for supporting too. Uh, and Rob, thank you for editing your pledge to even more. Thank you for being a part of the Supporters Club. I will see you then next time for a whole lot more. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Bum, bum. I just can't hide it. No, 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 I can't. I'm about to lose control, and I think you should like it. Thumbs up the video. Thanks, everyone. That worked brilliantly. Should do that in every video.